somebody with a name kind of like that. Yeah. It's like orange jello. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, like orange just jello. Unique. Just unique. That's I unique. That Who would want a name like that? That one is not that bad. Okay. Orange jello? Orange jello. Hey everybody, it's Justin from Justin, Germany, and I'm making a video again with my daughter, Brooklyn. She decided to sit down with me at least one more time to talk about some laws that are in Germany that, man, we things that, it's things that we do in America that are actually forbidden here in Germany. And so we're taking this video, it's another reaction video, and it's from, I think it's DW, a website that I use actually to learn my German, which I'm going to talk about one day, is how I learn German by using this website called DW.com and then it gave, came, I came across so many videos about Germany and German culture and so this is one I wanted to share with Brooklyn so let's get started all right Stehen bleiben, Polizei! Do you want to stay on the right side of the law in Germany? Well, here are a few things you probably didn't realize are banned here. Several times a year, on so-called silent days, dancing in public is forbidden in Germany. The dance ban is most strictly enforced on Good Friday, one of the most important dates in the Christian calendar. The exact times of the ban vary between states, and in some places it's also forbidden to have sporting events, move house, or show particular films. Yeah, what do you think about that? Days where you cannot dance. Like, to music or you just can't dance? I mean, both. You, you That's supposed, weird. You're supposed to risk. I mean, of course, yeah, nobody's just gonna really dance without music, but no, you just no dancing. So no clubs are open, no. nothing out in public. I guess they can't stop you from doing something in your private home, but no gatherings of some sort, a party like scenes or something like that. Um, man, I don't right. think we have anything like that in America. I don't think there's any of the day that you cannot dance. Matter of fact, I will go in further. I think every day of the year you can go shopping, except for Christmas Day. Yeah, I think we shop every day of the year. Every other holiday has been, it doesn't matter, stores are open. Actually, one time, well, I guess it's not shopping, but McDonald's is open on Christmas. Yeah, Mac, okay, yeah, restaurants are open on Christmas. Yeah, everything's open. Well, uh, A lot of restaurants. Sonic is, is Sunday? It, no. So, Sonic, no. Oh, uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> So McDonald's at the bottom of the bro. I think Pizza Hut is open up for a couple of hours too. I don't know. Yeah, but which well, means uh, McDonald's is. That's the only thing I can say for sure. Yeah, McDonald's okay. Is. Yeah. So that means we allow work so and sporting events. Every holiday, one of our main days of holidays is that we watch a sporting event. For the for Thanksgiving. There's always college football. Um the NBA plays a basketball game on, on Christmas Day. Um I believe the NFL, oh no, college football says a game on Christmas Eve, and then New Year's Day, there's Christmas. Uh, Easter, I think basketball is played in Easter on the, on the day. So it's like we connect these holidays, they're always some type of sporting or being something that people can sit down and watch together as a family. I don't think they have those in Germany. Yeah, they're like if it's a main holiday, there's not a game played. The next day, maybe the day before, yeah. All right, so that's crazy. It's just... At the same time, I do respect it. Like, just imagine, we're making other people work just for our enjoyment. I would not want to work on Christmas. Oh, you know what else is open? I think the movie theaters open on Christmas. I don't know. No. Sometimes, I know, at least Thanksgiving. I know they have like Christmas, they have special showings. Okay. Yeah. All right. But it's not Good Friday. No, but it is Sunday, and every Sunday is a quiet day. The law states you can only do DIY if it doesn't involve any drilling, hammering, or banging. So I guess that leaves gluing? Other forbidden activities include playing loud music, recycling glass, and skateboarding noisily in a residential area. Don't even think about mowing your lawn. These rules usually apply on public holidays too, as well as certain times of the afternoon, and evening, depending on regional law. Ganz einfach. In Germany, it can really pay to hold your tongue. Insulting somebody can land you a- okay. Alright, so, no cutting grass on Sundays. No making loud noises on Sundays. There's a day of quiet. 
you can do whatever you want on Sundays in America. I think we try to be respectful, but you can basically do whatever you want. There was a guy that was cutting his grass at midnight in my neighborhood one time. Like, he had to use front lights and stuff, but I don't think we have any restrictions like that where you cannot... Of course, you don't want to be too loud. You, you want to respect your neighbors, but we don't have anything like that. Right? Could you imagine? No. <laughs> they, they would not be able to enforce it that well. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> Insulting somebody can land you a hefty fine or up to one year in jail. Here are some examples from real court cases. Verkloppter. Die hat wohl die Sonne das Gehirn verbrannt. Insulting someone in public. Insulting someone in public. You can get fined for that. And she's showing an example of someone sticking her tongue guy, getting fined for that. Calling someone up. I don't believe that's true though. I see that happen all the time in, the, in, in German grocery stores. I see every German has road rage, but it's just not in their cars. You bump your shopping cart against somebody, they like, blew you blew it, man, you just, and now they tell me you can get fined for this? So who's really taking these people to court? Like, could you imagine that? No. Have you ever done that to anybody in public? My friend, not a random person. You never did it? Not even when you're at work, have you ever said something mean to anybody? No. Why would I do that at work? I don't know. Hey. Has anyone ever said anything mean to you at work? Like a customer? No. Are you that good of a worker then? Okay. All right. Am würde ich jetzt Arschloch zu dir sagen. Ish. This is 1600, wow. The more you earn, the more you pay. A professional footballer recently received a 25,000 euro fine for insulting a pensioner in a car park. Germans are extremely... Well, that's retired. So, he, it, the, the more, so basically they make the fines based on how much money you earn. So if you're a millionaire, uh, of course, if you say something to somebody, then they can fine you for that. Now... We do have people in America that actually go after professional athletes and try to get the professional athletes to hit them or something like that. Just cussing them out, though, man, could you imagine if every professional athlete or celebrity just cussed a person out there and they would be fined? They would be broke. Man. So just something simple as that. I'm guessing a kid cussing you out. Man, I went as a teacher. And the parents cussed me out. Can I find, can I, can I, can I get them fined? I need to think about that. I can make some money. It could be my second job. <laughs> Extremely obedient when it comes to pedestrian crossings. And no wonder. Walking across the street when the light is red could land you an on-the-spot fine of 5 to 10 euros. New drivers can even have their probation period extended by two years for walking over on red. Yeah, okay, so, no, you're right. Jaywalking is illegal in America. Yeah, jaywalking is illegal in America. But the part that really, uh, that she was pointing out that we kind of spoke over is that if you just got your driver license and you jaywalk, they put you on a probationary period for another two years. So when you first get your driver license in Germany, you have to be on a probation period for like two or three years. And if you basically make any mistakes, they'll take your license away. Or you have to retake some classes. So it's really, really strict. I don't, it's not that strict in America if you make a mistake if you're a beginner driver. Um, but just for jaywalking though, not even a driving thing, but you are crossing the street. So, you know. But jaywalking is a leave in America. I don't, I've never been for spying for it. Um, I don't jaywalk here in Germany when kids are around. When no, there's no kids around, I jaywalk. Do you ever jaywalk? No, I never really need to cross the street. No, because Americans drive everywhere. They would drive the car across the street if they have to. I would. Yeah, it basically is. You know, I do have an excuse for that. In some big cities, if you leave your car in a parking lot and you walk across the street to another business, they have spotters sometimes. They will come and tow your car. I've never, I've never done that, actually. So. Yeah, but they would. So when people ask me, why do you drive your car to a new parking spot? If it's not a public parking area, you park in a private parking lot, they will literally have someone to come tow your car or give you a fine. I'm not talking about $20. It could be 150 dollar fine or something like that or they would tow your car and then you could be really screwed so all right you know sometimes i think rachel's a bit boring wouldn't it be great to be called something cool like princess asparagus hold 
it right there. In Germany, you can only change your name if you have a really, really good reason for it. Like, no one can pronounce it, or it causes you psychological distress. When getting married, only one partner can take a double-barreled surname. And when naming your children, there are various legal precedents too. Like, well, the name must be easily recognisable as a first name. Ah, so that's why there's not very many baby Mullers or Schneiders running around here. No names that will be harmful to the child in any way. Fair enough. Up until 2008, the name also had to make it clear whether the child was male or female. But that's not the case anymore. Let me hear you say 21st century, but titles like Lord or Princess are still out. Oh man! Can you imagine that? Um, no. I no. like the choice, like the freedom of choice we have for names. But some people do end up with dumb names. Though. Some people in America go really, really far. For example, like, what was the name of the kid that Elon Musk is kid or something like that? I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, I don't think no one knows how to pronounce it. It was like an X. It was just a jumble of information. He's, oh, the kid is going to be a celebrity anyway. So he yeah. doesn't really need a regular name. Yeah, true. But still, it's like, people can do that. Or, of course, there's some great examples of, like, naming your kid like Adolf Hitler. That'll be dumb. He's doing that, though. People will. Yeah, but who, I, who was doing it? I looked up a list of people of names that people had to turn down. Say, um, Gucci. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? These are names that people proposed. Oh, a lot of people do like the designer names like Dior, not Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's another one? Um, I saw someone named Oh, Lemangio, like Lemon Jello. Lemangelo. I think my mom knows somebody with the name kind of like that. Yeah. It's like orange jello. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, like orange just jello. Unique. Just unique. That's unique. That Who would want a name like that? That one is not that bad. Like orange that. jello? Orange jello. Orange <laughs> I, I know a girl. I think I heard of a girl named, it was spelled Vaseline, but they call herself Vaseline. But of course, when you read it, it's Vaseline. Like, no, my, I would do a whole video about this another time. But I feel like the um you have to know like if it's a boy or a girl based off the name that's too much that's too much yeah it I think out, like Cameron Alex Harley I think Max. I think I did read in German that if the, if the second name or the middle name was could could identify the gender that made it easier. Yeah. I still done anyway. Yeah, but it, it, to me it makes sense because once again, you don't want your person to be made fun of. It's all about making Nobody sure Nobody's making fun Doing too much to prevent bullying. You can bully anybody off of their name, no matter what it is. Yeah, but it but it helps though, right? Nope. You think it's, so you think it's too far? I would never bully somebody because their name was Max or Cameron. I know a girl and a boy named Cameron. I've never thought about how it can be a boy and a girl name. I don't care. Okay. All right. Okay, you say that. People that are hateful are just going to be hateful. True. Like, the name is... True. So, so you name your kid Pickle? No, obviously <laughs> not. I think it's a great idea. I, I of course, they were going to, I think my daughter's name, they were going to try to limit my other daughter, uh, Sasha. Because in Germany, Sasha is a boy's name or boy's nickname. It's, I think, but in America, of course, I know quite a few Sashas. The most famous Sasha is... Uh, Sasha Obama. There's, there was even a wrestler named Sasha Banks. Just like one daughter, Sasha Banks. Pretty cool. Well, on TikTok, I did see this one famous lady, and like her kid's name is like Slim Easy, and the other one is Rumple Honey, and then I forgot what the third one is. It's like Whimsy Lou, but uh, that, yeah, those are silly, but like those are going to be famous babies anyway, so yeah, but... they're not going to apply for like a McDonald's job. So, and they're famous. If you hate on them, they're gonna get hate anyway. It's like they don't really care. At the end of the day, they're famous and they're rich. So, so, so when you're fa so okay, so it's okay when you're famous. Then what you're saying? But the average yeah, joke, saying, like, I think it's dumb. I, well, those are dumb names, but like, who cares? Oh um, man, Key and Pia made a, a few videos about that about some really outlandish name that people have, and it's like, wow. Yeah, but you're right. Bullies are gonna be bullies. If you're nice, you're not gonna laugh about it. But if you're bullies, are bullies. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. Step away from the sponge. What? I'm not even allowed to wash my own car in front of my own home. No, but with good reason. The water containing dirt, grease and cleaning chemicals can make its way into the groundwater and eventually into rivers and lakes. Save yourself a possible... All right. Um, well, I was going to sound very American, but 
I don't care about that. <laughs> oh. I always wash my car at home. I don't want to pay for the car wash. Or... I don't need it. And then the car washes in America, like, I don't know if it's everywhere, but they're always broke. They're always broken. One time I spent money to like do it myself and uh, Baylor was helping me. And then like the water part was broke. So I had to pay <laughs> at Take 5, which is like the um, like the car wash that mm -hmm. like, does it. Like the machine does work, it. Yeah. Because yeah. I had to pay for that. And I could have done a better job at home. I've seen the automatic ones that where the, the big metal thing on top of break. And fall on people's cars and stuff. Well, I don't be running that bank. And then, but, but they were like, well, we're not liable for damages. What? But it's broke. But, um. I like washing my car at home. I like washing my car at home too, especially when I'm waxing it and stuff. Because when you take it to a car wash, you're not allowed to hand dry it a lot of times. They want you to go somewhere else. They don't want you to uh, wash it. They want you to use a big brush, which I, I was told a big brush scrunches up your car. So I would rather wipe it down with my own hands, maybe spray with the high power water at the car wash, but then actually rub it down, wipe it down, get the hard spots like the bugs with my hand. Car washes don't want you to do it at that place. They rather you do it somewhere else. So I would rather wash my car at home too. At the same time, I'm trying to be more environmental conscious, living in Germany, so I can understand that rule, even if I don't agree with it. But I don't want to be fine. Where's the water at the car wash go? If, we, if I want to the video, they are supposed to make sure that it's separated and they, yeah. I guess they add additives into it to clean the water and stuff like that. But it's not going to the ground. Maybe it's going down, it's going down the drain. Okay. So it's going down the drain and then goes through the water system and they clean it and all that type of stuff. But here it's just going on the ground and going into the grass and stuff like that. Yeah. I'll still be washing my car at home. That's an American for you. That's an American. Who forget, who cares about the environment? I'm gonna do it my way to save fifty cent. It was like five, it was like five dollars at the thing. I will say, I will say the car washes are thing. In my opinion, the car washes are cheaper here, and uh, you put money in. I think the the water lasts a little bit longer than America, but it's been a while since I washed my car in America and a car wash. But I think the water lasts longer in Germany, so you do get your money's worth. Um, but yeah, so throw some laws. I mean, that's crazy. I think the the washing the car is the worst one. I I can deal with the one deal like quiet on Sunday. I can deal with that. Which one do you think is the worst one? I don't know. I like America. Is all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> America and their freedoms. You know what? Maybe like the quiet on Sunday one because. A lot of people have get-togethers like after church, and then yeah, like, and, and that's what it's for, right? No, no one can be like, "Well, I have to work. I can I, I have free time." You can, the boss can't say you got to go to work. Like I've been told, like the, you talk about McDonald's being open on Christmas. I've been told that the McDonald's Monticello is mean. Like they would try to fire you if you don't want to come to work on Sunday or, or on Christmas. Like I've heard that. I mean, of course, you do have some people who don't celebrate they Christmas, are but mean. yeah. So. But who and wants to Popeyes. come? I heard they're mean at Popeyes too. Yeah, but who wants to come in on the on the holiday? I mean, you want to be with your family, um, but not everyone celebrates Christmas, right? So if you don't celebrate Christmas, you get paid double. <laughs> For some people, like that's more money. I'm gonna pay double. I'm gonna pay it overtime. Yeah, I feel like I could probably work on Christmas. I think I said I didn't want to, but after I open the presents, I'm so bored the rest of the day. Like. So I could probably go into work, and it would be okay. I don't want to work on Christmas. Matter of fact, I'm a teacher. I don't want to work on weekends anyway. <laughs> Monday through Friday, baby. Uh, I will say, I think I get more free, to free days in Germany, or do I? That's another video I have to make. All right, everybody, this is Justin from Justin, Germany, Brooklyn, signing out. Peace. That's a long video, too.